What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness here and we're currently walking to Subway. We woke up late and then we need to replenish some calories and we're just fancy eating some Subway. At the moment I'm not really counting macros as I normally would, so it's not too bad. Subway's not the worst option, but it does depend what you get. Don't get the meatball thing. That's like over a thousand calories, so put that off. Alright, we'll see you in Subway guys. Looks like someone set up shop. Three caravans, bruh. Won't even let us see inside. Don't tell my mum. Don't tell my mum. Today's pre-workout is Dynamo Extreme pre-workout. That's gonna go in really well with the subway. It's gonna mix up and create an anabolic reaction. All right, guys, I ain't quite sure what this is. Snake, question mark. What's going on, guys? We've just got into the gym, about to smash our shoulders and triceps. Last episode of week three. Thanks a lot for the support in the last video. 88 views in 14 hours, and I think that's the best of this series so far. So keep the clicks coming, keep the views coming, guys, and keep the subscriptions coming. Thanks a lot for all the support. Let's go and smash it. What's going on, my saucy viewers? These are the results from last time, and we're about to smash them all. So first exercise, we have got dumbbell shoulder press and I must say on shoulder day it is the day of aches as the shoulder joint gets absolutely battered in back day and chest day. So we start off on this 38 kilograms as you can see I'm struggling my lip biter at the moment I'm biting my lip as it's so hard. We've got nine and a half reps I think so it's an improvement from last week where we got 36 for nine and a half. So for set two, three and four we dropped the weight to 34 kilograms and got 10 reps on each set pretty comfortably. My strength is definitely getting better on my shoulders. All right, next exercise, and apologies for it being so dark. It is dumbbell front raises. I, will, I thought I'd leave all the reps in like instead of speeding it up so I could speak a little bit about this exercise. So I normally have been turning the dumbbell at the top slightly, but I'm deciding now to keep it a little straighter to put a little less stress on the joint as you're doing like a twist at the top, you're putting more stress on the joint. And this is more of a natural movement. And I must say, this is the heaviest I've ever done front raises on. This is 14 kilograms each hand. I mean, it's nothing for some, but you know, my form isn't too bad. Swaying towards like probably the last four reps on each arm, but it's not too bad. All right, moving on to the Ross Dickerson special, the medial delt raises. So the aim is to hold on to something and then lean slightly towards the side. And it looks like I'm swinging the weight, but the weight is concentrated throughout the whole of the movement. So I did 12 kilograms on this, which again is the heaviest that I've ever done on this for four times 10. So we are banging the weights up and moving on to the good old face pulls. As you see, I banged it straight to 50 kg. Form's a little crazy, what am I doing there? The form is a little crazy, but the contractions are there. I do get the squeeze on every rep if you watch. For the last shoulder exercise now, we're going for the Arnold press, going for 24s this time. Hopefully, I only have to drop as low as 22s for the four sets. So I'm saying about two sets of 24s and then drop 22s for the third and fourth, unless I can just do all of them on 24s, but it is a hard exercise, especially to finish shoulders on. And then we'll move into triceps. Let's go! To the last shoulder exercise, Arnold press. Always like to finish on this one. Hard exercise, as I say in every video. But yeah, it really, really tests the muscles. And there's the guy behind that stared at me for my whole workout. I'm not quite sure what is going on for him. I don't know, but yeah, I think it, you actually see him there. Just, uh, I'm not too sure, he's looking at someone else. But yeah, he likes to stare. Either way, 24 kilograms, I managed to get two times 10. I don't know why he's out of breath, he hasn't even done a set yet. And uh, 22 kilograms, two times 10. So we didn't drop it lower than 22. And I'm very happy in that, as I really want to improve the Arnold press itself. Moving on to triceps now, guys. Dips, 12 kg. Gonna go for four times 10. And I didn't drop below 22 kg on the Arnold press. So let's go. 12 kilograms on the dumbbell that was currently between my legs. And I must say, it's getting very uncomfortable. It feels like it's gonna rip my trousers every single time I do a set. So I think I will be potentially bringing my belt with me. Um, I have got it at university with me and you just attach the weight to the chain. 
So we're moving on to the second exercise, which is the good old rope extension. I'm really trying to concentrate on form on this, as you can see, constantly looking to my left to see the form, although I do advise looking forward so you evenly distributed and you put in the same amount of pressure on each arm in the lift. Okay, so this is one of my favorite exercises. Again, really trying to focus on form. 20 kilograms is on this, four times 10. Not too hard, I mean, this was my last set. I don't always record first sets as I want you to get like um, a better aspect of, yes, this is a hard training session. But yeah, it is a decent exercise that you do have to control it. And the last tricep exercise, this is my favourite tricep exercise. I used to be able to do like 20 plus on this and I'm slowly getting back there. This is 18 kilograms. Elbows flaring out slightly, but like I said before, it's more of a natural movement. There's no strain on my shoulders, and it's all good. Did 18 kilograms 2 times 10, and then I did move the weight down to 16 2 times 10. As long as we're not going below 16, it's all good. Thanks a lot for listening to this voiceover, guys. What's going on, guys? We just finished the gym. Well, the sun's glaring in my eyes at the moment. It's not exactly sunny, but oh, it's glaring in my eyes. Need a haircut, man. It's getting like grade seven on the site. So we're walking back now and um, I just thought I would say, as I normally say things on the way back, um, I think personally myself, I have to accept that people are gonna stare in the gym and like literally their whole gym sh session stare at me because I've just had someone in the gym, um, an old guy, say about 40, stare at me my whole session. And like to the point where I've had to s turn to him and say, excuse me mate, can you stop staring at me? And can you do some exercise? And uh, he obviously didn't speak English as he I said why are you staring at me and uh, he couldn't tell me he didn't really know like so I'm not sure what was up with him but I told the gym manager and then the manager had a word with him and he just stood in the freeway area staring at everybody apart from me then and then he began staring at me again so they're all weirdos in the gym but I've got to accept that people are going to start mirroring the gains as people say not being big headed or anything but when you do start to progress and then you start training like a vest and people are like, whoa, blah, blah, blah. And some people are like, oh, steroids, steroids. But some people are just stare for the whole session and they want to waste their time admiring someone else. That's up to them. But focus on yourself, guys. Don't admire other people, man. Just progress yourself and, you know, people, if people want to stare in the gym for the, the whole session, that's up to them. But they're not really going towards any goal there, really, are they? Unless they're like picking up tips from me, which they can just... Head over to the Greg Lock Fitness channel and check out my videos. Anyway guys, that was a shoals and tricep workout. Hope you enjoyed the voiceover, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for all the views. That video we just uploaded on over 100 views. Like, analytics are class. Getting a load more ratings now, which is pushing my views up. So thanks a lot guys, keep them coming. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. It has been Greg Lock Fitness. That is a screen that is currently rendering. All of that is rubbish that needs to go in the bin. That is a pile of dirty washing, and that is washing drying. I hope I've, um, you know, widened your imagination on my life. Thanks a lot, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It has been a Greg Lock Fitness production.